What is going on everyone? This video is about how I built a serverless change detection and email notification service in my AWS account to alert me of changes of my website IP address, which could be a result of a fat finger mistake or potential cyber attack. This microservice runs in my AWS account, monitoring my hosted zone named records in route 53 for my website while leveraging the Delta JSON API as a service with their compare API to simplify the change detection process. Cybersecurity is always an important topic and now more than ever. One vulnerability often overlooked are name records in Route 53, which if changed accidentally or maliciously can have an immediate and catastrophic effect to your services. Platforms like AWS can export this information as JSON, which means it is not only useful for backup but monitoring changes as well. I had a lot of fun building this microservice and hopefully you can see how something similar to this might be useful for your custom use case. This video was sponsored by Delta XML, which are the creators of Delta JSON. Delta JSON has a GUI and REST API that takes two or more JSON files, analyzes their structure, and then compares these files to identify differences between them, returning the results as JSON or XML. Other functions include two-way and three-way merge, graft, and patch. There are starter, developer, professional, and enterprise tiers available, and viewers of the channel get a 50% discount on the professional tier monthly subscription for the first year. Use DEU50. If you subscribe using this code, a portion of your subscription will go to help this channel, so don't forget to check it out. So let's talk about the architecture of this application and how it works. So when a record is updated in Route 53, an event is triggered on event bridge for a particular hosted zone that I'm interested in monitoring. This event is sent to my Lambda function, which initiates my Python code, which queries Route 53 to get the updated Route 53 record information. It compares it to the gold standard I have saved as a JSON in AWS S3, and then I pass the two JSONs to the Delta JSON compare API. The compare API then returns to me the response of the comparison, which I then parse through in my Python function to detect the changes. As far as I know, Delta JSON is the only tool on the market that can analyze what changed and highlight only these changes. You can use a tool like JSON diff, but this is not JSON structure aware. Therefore, if you add a new line to root 53, changing the order of the entries in JSON, it will wrongly identify all the entries after the change as changes. Delta JSON is structure aware and highlights only the new items being added, amended or removed. So if you have advanced change detection use cases, I highly suggest checking them out as it can save you a lot of development time. So after parsing the response in Python for the records I'm interested in reviewing, I then format it and send an email notification leveraging AWS SES when there is an update to the record compared to the gold standard. All right, so let's take a look and see how this is configured in AWS. So I'm in the event bridge service and I created a rule called DNS change Delta JSON. And as you can see, my event pattern is set to root 53 using the AWS API call via CloudTrail. And you can see here the event source is root53.amazon and the event name is change resource record set. We have it locked down specifically to our hosted zone ID for the website we're interested in monitoring. So this rule is targeted on our Lambda function, which is gonna be triggered when there is a change to our hosted zone. All right, so I'm in my Lambda function here that is being triggered on the CloudWatch rule that I just showed you. So as discussed in the architecture diagram, all of the comparing and the logic is built into this one Lambda function. So if we just scroll down to the bottom, I just wanna briefly talk about what it's actually doing here. So when this Lambda function is called, our first step here is to get the updated hosted zone information from the root 53 service. So we're passing in our zone ID into our get record set function, which is using photo three. We're then writing this updated record to S3 so we can compare it to our gold standard. The next two functions is we're hitting the Delta JSON API in order to get the updated authorization as well as to use the compare JSON API. So as you can see here, we're passing in our token and AWS secret key and access key. Now, because we're hitting a third party service here, I've locked down this user to only have access to services in need. So it only needs access to an S3 bucket. So I've locked that down to that specific bucket it needs access to. But let's review this compare JSON method and how we're actually calling the compare API from Delta JSON. So if we look at our function here, we need to pass our two files to the API. So A being the gold standard where I am passing my access key and secret access key, the region, the bucket, and the file name. And then B being the delta or the change that has been made to my root 53 record set. 
Then in the header, we're just passing the bear token. And then we're doing a post command using the request library to the API. And then what we get back, we get a JSON object as a string in Python, which is in the Delta JSON Delta format. So then we were able to parse this JSON as a Python dictionary to find the changes in our root 53 record. So I think it's worth to show you what the file looks like. So in PyCharm here, I've run this script on debug mode and stopped on the Delta JSON Delta format here. Within our dictionary, we get a couple keys and I wanna focus our attention on this DX Delta JSON Delta, which really is the heart of the changes that we're gonna to need to look through. So under our record sets, we can see that we get our three records that we're interested in comparing. Um, and our A type is the one we're interested in investigating. So if we drill down into this a little bit more, we now see that our record set has a DX Delta value. So this indicates that there's been a change. So if we drop down further, we now see that A, which was our gold standard, had this value, and B, being the new change that was pushed, has a completely different value. So what's nice about this formatted output is we're able to drill down to any variable in our JSON file and detect these changes. All right, so going back to our Lambda function, so for the next part of my Lambda function, this function is now parsing that dictionary that I just showed you to identify if we have any A records that have changed. So if we have identified any IP addresses compared to our gold standard that are different, we're then adding it to this Python list called my array no header. And then we're passing that array as well as the original JSON from our compare API to this make email function. And then what this email function is doing is basically getting it ready for our email that we're gonna send out. And as you can see here, the subject is gonna be your friendly DNS bot. Changes have been detected. And then our body payload is here. And as you can see, we're passing in the parsed out information for our email service. And then our last function here called my mail is getting the subject body text and body HTML from the last function here. And we're using the simple email service to basically send our email to the specific address. And as we can see here, we're gonna be sending it to myself from myself. And if we go to our very bottom here, we can see that we're using the send underscore raw underscore email API from SES to send this notification to myself. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and test this in real time to see how it works. All right, so I'm in Route 53. My website is up and running. Everyone's having a good time. Now I'm gonna go in and intentionally change my IP address in the A record. So this is gonna actually bring my website down if it was running. I'm just gonna put in a random IP address. All right, now if I go and save this, my website would be in a lot of trouble. So if we head over to my email account, we just got a new notification that has come through. And if we look at the email, we just got a message that our DNS resource record set has been changed and our gold standard IP address was correct, was now mapped to this new random address. And below we have the full payload that is coming from the compare API from Delta JSON. So now that we've identified that there's a change, we can immediately change it back to the correct IP address and everything's gonna be okay again. So I just walked through how to set up a low cost serverless monitoring solution on Route 53 using Delta JSON. As a reminder, if you're interested in playing around with the Delta JSON GUI and API as a service, then please use my discount code DEU50 to get 50% off the professional tier for your first year. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or learned something, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you're new. See you next time.